would have thought. That's in Ninja here for my last breakfast in Vancouver. I fly out in just a few hours. And uh, I decided, since I do have to head to the airport a little early, I'm just going to have a quick breakfast at the hotel. So I'm here at the, I don't know what they call their little restaurant, but it's the Sylvania, Sylvia Hotel on the English Bay. Uh, I have here some uh, buckwheat pancakes with blueberries in them, some BC blueberries apparently, and uh, this is my last official meal here, unless I eat something at the airport. I doubt I will though, it's going to be a uh, nine hour flight, so I don't want to, I don't use public restrooms. And an airplane restroom seems like a horrible thing, like one of the worst things in the world. So I am going to avoid the need to use that by eating less. Um, that just sounds like a horrible thing to do. Never use an airplane bathroom. I don't plan to now. Um, some kind of impressions I got of Vancouver. I'm going to be writing a big blog post as well, but I had a good time. It's like Toronto in many ways, but in many ways it's very, very different. Um, even the Google Maps timing is very off, where it says it will take an hour to get somewhere, that's actually like 35, 38 minutes Toronto time, like it knows the speed that people walk here and, and adjusts. Um, yeah. An introvert like me, they will do too much. Hit up the beach quite a bit. Hit up Stanley Park. Wandered through the city yesterday for a whole lot of hours. I don't really do touristy things. I just kind of wander. I like wandering. Whereas I leave on the 12th, which is today, November 12th. Plane takes off at 150. Arrives in Tokyo, I think at like 11 or 450 or something like that, something very similar. It's nine hours because of time zones. It isn't nine hours, which is kind of why I'm happy I took a trip to Vancouver first. It meant that I didn't have as big a jet lag because I kind of split into two, got used to it, and now I'm going to be doing it again. I still haven't even looked up what, uh, what there's to do in Tokyo, but just like here, I'll find stuff. The language barrier, that's, that's something that has been, of course, on my mind. I do not speak Japanese. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping some speak English, the way that some here speak French, but it's more, most of the time I'm walking around, I have my headphones on, so there's zero language. So it's not like I'm missing out on anything, because there's nothing that I hear anyways. I noticed that while wandering the city yesterday. I always have my headphones on, so the language itself that everybody around me is speaking actually doesn't phase me. It'll be different when I'm ordering something or whatever, but just day to day, it's all about body language, all about making eye contact with someone. That way, you don't walk into each other, that kind of thing. So that's that's kind of the bigger aspect of it. Well, it should be fine in that respect. So, uh, 
next video you see from me. I'm here in Tokyo. I probably won't be in Tokyo in the video. I'll probably be at the uh, Vancouver airport or on a plane or in one of those types of situations. But I will physically be in Tokyo when I'm uploading it. So that's the thing. Go pancakes. Never had before. Right, have a good day, guys. I'll be on a plane in a couple hours.